Hello SpaceX fans, we're back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in because we're going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we'll be bringing you up to date with the latest developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. The partnership between SpaceX and Apple on important missions could be the key for humanity to master the art of spaceflight. SpaceX is set to fly astronauts on the Moon or Mars mission, and Apple hardware will be super important in the research studies happening during the mission. Today, let us talk about Apple's insane new partnership with SpaceX. Starting off with Apple's products. SpaceX confirmed that the products to be used include the Apple Watch Series 6, iPhone 12, and iPad mini. For the health-focused research will be the first of its kind and aims to increase humanity's knowledge of the impact of spaceflight on the human body. Once in orbit, the astronauts will perform a variety of carefully selected research experiments on human health and performance, which will have potential applications for human health on Earth and during future space flights. On top of that, SpaceX, the Transitional Research Institute for Space Health at Baylor College of Medicine, and investigators at Will Cornell Medicine will collect environmental and biomedical data and biological samples from astronauts before, during, and after this momental space flight. Now the biggest question, how do they plan on collecting data? According to Jimmy Wu, a senior biomedical engineer, the projects on astronauts are pretty Apple heavy. Apple Watch will gather research grade ECG, action development, rest pulse, and beat blood oxygen. Saturation, cabin noise, and light intensity readings are also expected to be collected from the SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle that will be used. The crew members will also go through cognitive evaluations with a cognition app on iPad mini, a software that's used by NASA's funded research studies. Have we missed iPhone? Apple's iPhone 12 Pro is being paired with the Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound device to scan the crew's internal organs. The evaluation will help determine whether people with no medical training or experience can use it. Butterfly IQ Plus is artificial intelligence guidance, which is presented through an accompanying app to acquire clinical grade images without assistance from the ground. Other tests, the collection and examination of drops of blood using a vertical flow immunoassay VFI device, balance and perception evaluations, and biomedical sample collection. So let's take a look at some of the data that Apple's devices will be collecting and why we need that data in the first place. First up, neurocognitive performance. Going to space is a stressful experience for the human body, but it's just as stressful on the mind as well, as increased stress can affect crew behavior and performance. Dr. Martinez Bassner and his team at the University of Pennsylvania have developed a battery of cognitive tests for astronauts, which they'll use to assess performance on a broad range of cognitive domains. Researchers will then analyze the cognitive test results alongside health vitals collected from an Apple Watch and environmental data collected from the Crew Dragon. The cognitive and psychological data will improve understanding of how ordinary individuals in the general population will behave and perform in space travel. The results will be super relevant, especially since commercial spaceflight is becoming more and more popular by the day. During space flights, bodily fluids move differently inside the human body, and astronauts are more susceptible to certain medical conditions. Medical imaging can be used to monitor and track. In these changes, ultrasound is NASA's preferred medical imaging method for tracking the health of astronauts on the International Space Station, as well as for future deep space exploration missions to Mars. As we mentioned before, the SpaceX astronauts will use Apple iPhone 12s fitted with a Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound device to study differences in structure and fluid movement in the neck veins, eyes, gallbladder, and urinary bladder. The study will also be evaluating how effectively Butterfly IQ is as a user-friendly interface. AI technology will enable minimally trained passengers to acquire high-quality ultrasound images, which are considered hard to get and are usually collected by ultrasound technicians. If the research experiment is successful and Butterfly IQ Plus gets validated, it could become an important diagnostic tool for medical systems on future deep space missions. Let's talk about drawbacks. What problems can SpaceX astronauts experience? In zero gravity, astronauts lose their sense of motion. This neurovestibular concern could cause motion sickness, nausea, and other disorienting effects. Neuroscientists will study how passengers go up and down on Earth versus in space and how they use that information to control eye position and posture. 
The results might allow predictions of who will get motion sickness in spaceflight and enable the taking of precautionary measures. The sensory motor tests will be easily accessed through the iPad provided to every crew member. If the neuroscientists' efforts are successful, they could help prevent or minimize the effects of motion sickness and disorientation, thus massively improving the spaceflight experience. In the past, Apple has been working on satellite technology to connect its phones to the internet without requiring a land-based carrier like AT&T or Verizon. It's a small project so far, with only about a dozen engineers, according to a report on Bloomberg, but it's obvious how appealing it would be to the notoriously independent company to be able to sell phones globally without having to bother with local carriers. And there'd be customer benefits too. No dead zones, no roaming, and no 50-page carrier contract. In regards to that, Elon Musk's SpaceX announced plans to launch up to 42,000 satellites in order to set up a space-based communications network, Starlink. For context, only about 9,000 satellites have been launched in all of space history, about 5,000 of which are still in orbit, and only 2,000 are actually still operational. It's clear what Apple has to gain here. Freedom to sell phones into a global market with global connectivity without irritating contracts and technical restrictions with landlocked cellular carriers. SpaceX, on the other hand, needs customers for its planned mega fleet of communication satellites. While company president Gwen Shotwell said in 2018 that SpaceX was profitable, data from the Wall Street Journal indicates that it earned an operating profit of perhaps 0.2%, hardly a cash-making machine. Apple's work on communication satellites and next-generation wireless technology means the aim is likely to beam data to a user's device, potentially mitigating the dependence on wireless carriers or for linking devices together without a traditional network. However, if Apple has plans to enable Earth-to-space wireless connectivity for customers bypassing terrestrial providers, SpaceX is literally the only player on the planet that has demonstrated both the willingness and the capability to enable it. The early beginnings of the Starlink network proves that, and Apple's cash could fuel it. It's important to note that a corporation the size of Apple is continuously working on multiple projects, many of which will never see the light of day. But it's also intriguing to think about the potential connection between Apple's and SpaceX's ambitions. With this, we've come to the end of the video. Congrats on having a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.